Okay, let's talk more specifically about walls. Uh, if you want to learn how to edit and make what your wall is made of, there's another video for that. For this one, let's specifically just talk about, uh, about dimensioning and about drawing your walls. So let's click on, let's go to architecture. And just for this video, I'm going to grab an architectural wall. And let's see, yeah, I'm just going to grab a generic wall and we're just going to use that one. A couple things to notice. Uh, this is the height of my wall. I'm going to change that to 8. And I'm going to start drawing my wall. You, you want to make sure you're inside of these elevation markers. You don't want to be drawing your walls out, out here. Okay. So I'll kind of center that in my page. Uh, notice my wall height is 8 up here. And notice we are chained together. Let's talk about that. So I'll click, and then I'm just going to end this wall right here. And notice it starts the next one. That's what chained means. If I take that off, I can just do one individual wall at a time. So you want to have an idea of what your wall, or excuse me, how big your wall is going to be before you start this. And I have a rough idea of what I want to do. So we're going to click, and I want this to be 75. And then I'll hit Enter and then it starts the next wall and I'm not, I'm not, you'll notice when you do this, I'm not clicking on the mouse um, other than to change the direction. I want this uh, 43 and a half and I know that I want this one 52 25 and then notice that that dotted line right there comes up to show me that I'm parallel so I'll just simply click and then when that box, that excuse me, that rectangle comes up, I know I've, I've hit the intersection with the other wall, and I'll click that, hit escape, and I'm done. Now, if I want to go back and change something, a um, couple options. I can click on the adjacent wall, like for this one. Clicked, I clicked on the adjacent wall, 52 popped up, and I realized that, that actually should have been 51 and a half. So you can change that. Um, now let's talk about dimensioning. Let's go to annotate and then let's click on aligned and we're going to do the overall width of of this building. So let's click here. Oops, excuse me. Let's click on our tool. Click, click and then we can pull up. Let's zoom in a little bit. We don't want our dimensions for the most part, we like that we don't like them inside of our um, inside of our house. We also don't want them way out here, so that'll work. And let's just move around the building. Annotate, aligned, click, click for these two, and let's just do this wall right here, and that's good for now. And then. Let's zoom in here. Going to notice I'm, I'm I hit escape, so I'm not in any tool right now. Notice when I hover over the dimension lines, it turns blue. So let's click on that, and notice the dimension is currently going from center to center. If I wanted to change that to outside to outside, or exterior to exterior, I click it once and it moves interior. And this is called a witness line, by the way. And then. I changed it on that side. Let's do it on this side. And then that, of course, is going to change this dimension. Okay. So, what I can do, hit escape, click on the adjacent side, click on here, 44.5, and we're good. You just repeat the process all the way around. You can change your um, wall dimensions later on in the project, I would advise to get it set in stone now. Um, before you put on a roof, you'll run into trouble later on down the road if you have to go back and change it. Speaking of changing it, once you've got these dimensions exactly how you want them, I'm going to click on the witness line again and notice the little lock. I can then lock it in place. Um, that means I'm really protecting myself from changing the, um, the dimension of the wall later on. Uh, if I add a, a really big window or, or do something funky, 
um, it won't. It will not change that wall. It'll warn me that I, um, I've already constrained the wall. Okay, there you go. How to uh, draw walls and how to dimension.